Hey, Gents fans, Matt Sossler here, and I am joined by a portion of our 2000s, Alexander Tatishny, Dylan Schuett, Ricky Boyson, and Tyler Cooper, uh, following uh, their uh, end of the season for the Northeast Generals. And first off, going around a tough season, you guys started out and then wound up being on the road from November all the way until April, and just overall an interesting season. Uh, starting with you, Dylan, what are some of your takeaways on the year? I mean, I think we try, we made the most of it. I think at the start of the year, we were just trying to get games and like we weren't allowed to play in mass. And obviously that made it difficult. So we were more concerned about just playing and, you know, we'll worry about the rest later. But um, looking back at it, I mean, yeah, it's tough. Not that we're making excuses, but it's tough being on the road for how many weeks we were, 20 some weeks on the road. And if you look at our home record, our home record was unbelievable. So it's frustrating because I think we had the potential to be a contender and a strong team, a playoff team. Um, but, you know, given the circumstances, you know, we tried to make the most of it and, and that's what it's about. At the end of the day, I mean, we look at how many teams and how many leagues, you know, didn't play games in, in North America, especially in Canada. Um, you know, I'm just happy we got to play. And, I'm, and I thought we came together a lot stronger at the end of the year. Home games helped a lot of guys. It seemed like on our team, play better at home, more comfortable, stuff like that. Um, beginning of the year, we had a lot of a lot of turnaround with uh, guys on our team. I think we went through more guys the first couple months than we did all of last year. So that was that was a big learning curve. But once we figured out how to play together, I think we really turned it on and showed what we could do as a team. But uh, just a little late, unfortunately. Yeah, kind of piggybacking off of both of them, I think. Um... I was going to say what what Dylan said about being away. It's it's obviously tough with with travel and everything, getting there and preparing your mind and your body to to play two or three full games of hockey. Um, and then going back to what Ricky said, just you know, we it was tough to kind of get in a flow. Um, I think with guys coming in and out, it kind of made it um, a little bit more difficult. And um, I mean, at the end, we had the right group of guys that. I feel like if we had from the start of the year, we'd, we'd be a pretty, pretty big contender. And um, once we just started figuring out how to play with each other, it was, it was a lot better. So it went, it went a lot better as the year went on, but um, definitely the, the being away and being on the road part definitely uh, took a toll on both our bodies and minds throughout the year. Yeah. Just kind of wrapping up what uh, all, all three of them said. Um, yeah, obviously like it was a tough year, just, uh, with all the guys going in and out, uh, plus it's like earlier in the year, um, we got hit by COVID pretty bad. So um, uh, that also, I, I guess like, like you don't think it affects you much like after you're done with it, but personally just after having COVID, uh, the rest of the year was a bit harder just in terms of like conditioning and um, just playing the way that like I'm normally used to I think it definitely kind of had an effect I mean personally I'm not sure about other guys but um also playing on the road like you you, you don't really think it affects you too much like obviously it's tiring like with the traveling and the playing and uh the mental aspect of things but um like when you're in the moment you're kind of just trying to get through those games and uh, play to the best of your ability and you don't really um don't really kind of know like exactly how much it did affect you throughout the year. So definitely that stretch, uh, looking back on it, tough, tough stretch, but, um, yeah, like the other guy said, like, uh, playing at home, definitely wish we got to play at home more, but again, I'm just really glad that we got to play this year. Um, although we did go through a lot of guys, I'm really happy that I met all of those guys, a lot of great guys. Um, so yeah, just a interesting year, but fun year, and I'm uh, thankful that I got to play with these guys. Uh, love these guys. So yeah. And now moving uh, on, you guys all multi year generals. Uh, what has this organization meant to you guys uh, now that you guys are uh, finished with your junior careers? Let's start with uh, Ricky. Uh, yeah, I came from a place where. It wasn't too professional at the time. I'm not sure how it is now uh, at my former teams, but yeah, the 
you come in, you feel loved right away. Everyone embraces you. Brian's awesome. Progen's awesome. Everyone just wants you to do well. Everyone wants to, wants the best for you. Uh, we have a lot of fun. All the guys are super close. I mean, like, even like Sasha, guys that come in, in the middle of the season, they can attest to it right away. It feels like a family. So it's, it's awesome to see it. And it's, it's a lot of fun. Like the relationships we have here, are going to last a long, long time. So I loved every minute of it and I couldn't be, couldn't be happier coming here and wearing the Jens uniform for two years. So, uh, yeah, it's been great. Yeah. I mean, for me, um, this was my only junior team throughout the two years that I was playing juniors. Um, and I came right from high school to here. And I mean, I've heard so many stories about um, kids that I went to school with that have kind of just wrong it, ran into uh, maybe unloyal coaches. They tell them they're going to get something and they end up not. And, and I'm very thankful that, I mean, Brian and Progen, they both kind of told me where I'm at um, coming into the year last year. And, and I knew I had to kind of work for it to, to stay in the lineup or to stay on the team during training camp or anything like that. Um, and I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm just super grateful that one, they took a chance on me for the, for the full two years and, and two, just grateful that, that I didn't have to go anywhere as well. It, very loyal coaches and, and stick to their words. So um, yeah. And then the, the guys that they bring in are obviously, second to none I mean these guys that are on the phone right now as well as a bunch of others are brothers for life so we'll definitely be keeping in touch and um yeah wouldn't want it any other way yeah it's going off with the um what Coop and uh, Ricky said uh, I joined like uh like midway through the season last year uh kind of came from a tough place wasn't really enjoying the game um it's definitely frustrating and uh, when I got here um, to the Gens, it was just, it was so refreshing. Uh, all the guys were great. Brian and Proj, I can't stress it enough. They're, they're also like family to me. Um, uh, yeah, I get pretty emotional about it, but uh, yeah, I love, I love all you guys. Um, love the Gens. Um, just made it so much fun. Um, and yeah, like Coop said, brothers for life, so. No kidding. Yeah. I mean, I kind of speak on, on behalf of everybody and, you know, Mac and I have been here for three years. Um, again, like I came from Brookings. Um, I honestly wasn't there long. I was there a month or two and then right into, right into the things with the gens. And, you know, like they said, it's been a family. Uh, this has been my home for the last three years. Uh, it's, it's tough with seeing everyone go. Um, and it's definitely going to take an adjustment period knowing I'm not coming back next year. Cause you know, they said, this has been my home for three years and this is what I know. And this is what I love. And, you know, I wake up every day and I love going to the rink. I love showing up every day at the village and, you know, being with the boys. And obviously, like they said, you know, the guys, Brian and Eric bring in our world-class, I mean, character, um, characters, number one, and, you know, we want great people, not just great hockey players. And obviously that's what they did every year. I said, you know, this is a great group of guys. And then I came back, oh, this is another great group. And every year, you know, that's how it is. When you're a general, you know, you're going to be surrounded by people you love coming to the rink every day and, and fighting for and battling with. So, um, yeah, I mean, this has been uh, probably the most enjoyable three years of hockey. And uh, I'm obviously looking forward to next year, but I'm definitely going to miss this place and I'm going to enjoy coming back. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, your group, all you guys wore a letter this past season. Um, you guys got a fantastic group of 01s, fantastic group of 02s, and even all the way down to 04 with uh, Sutter there. But uh, how do you think uh, your class has uh, prepped the generals for the future? Why don't we start with you, Dylan? Um, I think as a group of 2000s, you know, there's seven of us and I think we're all, again, like I said earlier, unbelievable people, not just, not just great hockey players. Um, and I think we really set the standard for, you know, what we expect and what the generals expect you to handle yourselves. And, and obviously when you're wearing that logo, you represent, you know, the Jens family and wherever you are, wherever you are, not just in the rank, but you're out in public, you're wearing that crest, you know, you represent the Jens family. So uh, I think we set the standard pretty high for what we expect as, as people, not just on the, not just out the rink. Um, 
I think at times on the ice, you know, we definitely had our struggles, hey boys, as as 2000s. Uh, but when we needed it, we stepped up, and I think we showed that throughout the season. But uh, there's definitely some some droughts for us, but that's the way it goes. You have your ups and downs, and I think we pulled through and, and we ended on a high note. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, as a group of 2000s, you want to you wanna have more um, success on the ice for the guys. Um, but again, uh, it's more important than that. It's uh, making sure that um, you're being good people and uh, that the younger guys see that and they carry on that tradition. And um, I really hope uh, next year that uh, they're able to have as much of success uh, as they can. Uh, they like really deserve it. Uh, great group of guys, great group of players. I mean, you mentioned Satsi 04. He has a great future ahead of him. Um, Lappy, in addition, like, Hugo, so much, so many guys that deserve so much success. And I really hope uh, we were, even though we didn't have um, the success that we wanted this year, I really hope that we um, uh, set kind of a standard and um, kind of motivation to um, uh, for the guys coming in next year to um, have a successful season, both on and off the ice. Um, and yeah, like Projan and uh, Brian, uh, they really deserve it. Um, all those guys deserve it. So really excited. I'll definitely be following, going to some games next year, and uh, really excited for uh, what they got going on uh, in the future. Yeah, that drive won't be too hard for you uh, yeah. going back to the village next year. Uh, but, uh, Coop, why don't you follow what uh, Alex had to say? Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, both on and off the ice, I think a big motto that, that personally I go for is um, – leave leave it better than you found it and uh i mean for the 2000s just speaking on their behalf um i mean i think we put the generals definitely in a in a, in a better direction um especially for next year and and moving forward and and what the o1s and the o2s can can kind of bring to the table next year um and i mean this year there's no no off ice um no off ice issues for the most part and that just kind of goes to show the the standard that we were setting um, in the locker room and out of the locker room. And, uh, and I mean, all jokes, all jokes off the ice. And as soon as like you, as soon as you enter that locker room and, and put the general's jersey on, it's, uh, it's business from there. And, and I hope that, that the, the younger guys can kind of follow on that and, and lead in our, in our footsteps next year. Generals are a relatively new team to the league, only a couple of years now, but, I think what I'm most proud of for our group is, yeah, we've had a lot of success on the ice. Obviously, wish we could have made playoffs, whatever. Um, but I think we really did a good job pushing the culture, putting it in a better direction, like Coop said, like leaving it in a better place than when we found it. Um, all of our 2000s were unbelievable off the ice, and that's just as not just as important, if not more, than on the ice. So. I think we showed the guys what it takes to, you know, love the game, care, do whatever you can for the guys next to you. I think we have, we've done a lot of transformations with younger guys that come in, you know, they've been the best player on their team their whole lives and they are the skill guy or whatever, but then they come here and it's not always that easy right away. And I think we do a really good job of showing guys that if you buy in and play the right way, it's going to lead to a lot more success. So I'm really proud of our, of our 2000, really proud of our team. I thought we battled hard uh, all the way through the year, through all, all the adversity. I love all these guys. So I, I just wish nothing but the best for 2000s going wherever they're going next year. And love to see the Gens make a playoff run next year. So that would be, uh, be cool to see. And I'm really excited to see where everyone goes. And my final question uh, for you guys, uh, again, as I mentioned earlier on the interview, all you guys multi-year generals, uh, what are you going to miss the most about the team? Dylan, why don't we start with you again? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, like I said, I mean, there wasn't a day where, you know, I dreaded going to the rink. I, I woke up and every morning I was excited to come to the rink and I don't think I could pick just one thing. I mean, I just love coming to the rink every day, putting my stuff on, you know, joking with the guys beside me, Coop in the morning, you know, morning skate, whatever it may be, goalie skate. Like, I just, I love coming to the rink. I love being a general. So 
I don't think I could narrow it down. Um, I just loved it. I'm going to miss it. All right, this is a tough question to answer. So whenever, whoever has the next answer, uh, ready to go, just to speak up. Oh, I'll take it. Um, you know, obviously hockey, it's hard. It's tiring. Sometimes your body just doesn't want to go. But <laughs> you come to the rink and you see Coop and Mac wrestling on the floor, doing something stupid. <laughs> this it makes it so fun. And I loved every every minute of it. No no matter we're getting bagged on the ice or Phil's putting us through the ringer upstairs or whatever's going on. Everyone has the best attitude. Everyone has a smile on their face. Everyone's joking around, but also working hard, like super hard. So it's such a good environment to not only get better, but just to have a blast. Like it's like, obviously the summer is the summer. You want to go home and relax, but like, I'm, I wish this season could just keep going. Like I just love seeing the boys every day. And, yeah, it's even on the road, like you're you're with each other nonstop. So we're there every single day, nonstop, you know, playing cards, having fun. And uh, even the bus rides, nine hour bus rides to Johnstown, <laughs> getting home at 5 a.m. Boys still have a smile on their face, I'm packing the bus. So it's it was really cool to, to have that and have those memories and stuff. So I'm going to miss that for sure. You want me to take it, Sasha? Yeah, you take it, Coop. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, kind of what Ricky said a little bit to start, um, just coming to the rink and, and seeing everybody with a smile on their face and kind of kind of joking around. And then as soon as uh, as soon as it's time to work, you work. And, and I mean, you kind of balance the the fun aspect of it with, with the serious aspect. And, and, I mean, I love that the guys all – I mean, it, we just all felt like brothers this year, for sure. It, it was just uh, everybody got along and everybody's coming to the rink with a smile on their face. And then the other thing was, uh, I was going to say the bus rides, um, just with the group of guys that we had both years. Um, I mean, in high school, like, we'd do bus rides as well to places. And, um, I mean, guys were just as great, but um, – I just hated sitting on the bus for, for five, six, seven, eight, nine hours. It was like the worst thing ever. And, um, like the eight hour bus ride to Johnstown, like, yeah, it, it, it sucks to go there. Like I, you, you just hate going there, but uh, you love the, Johnstown. The eight, hours, the eight hours that you're spending on the bus with the guys, it's like, there's always something going on and it's just, it, there's always a laugh going on and, guys playing cards and stuff like Ricky said so yeah I mean the the bus rides I think were we did a lot of them this year and I mean we felt like we all kind of bonded through the bus ride so it, it that was uh that's definitely gonna be one of the things I'm gonna miss a lot first 10 minutes of the bus ride home definitely gonna miss that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just uh, going off of what they all said just just going to miss all the boys and uh, definitely going to miss uh, Brian and Proge. Um, they definitely, um, obviously, like, they push us to be our best, but they do a great job of uh, kind of keeping things light and keeping the things fun. And um, just definitely going to miss the the culture and so, so many memories, uh, so many, um, so many laughs. And, uh, yeah, that's the big thing that I'll miss, just the people that I met here and I'll be forever grateful. And like Cooper said earlier, these are, uh, these are my boys for life, my brothers. So, yeah. Yeah. And before I uh, let you guys, uh, go, you know, any last, uh, things you'd like to say to the, uh, Jen's family as a 2000. Well, just to thank them for their support. Um, I mean, like I said, I said it several times already, but, you know, this is my home and this has been my home for three years and really does feel like a family. So I would just thank them and express how appreciative I am of, of everything they've done for me. Yeah, uh, it's the best two years of my life. Like it's, I'm always going to cherish this and Auto World is always going to be a second home to me. So even living in the penthouse, <laughs> I miss it a lot. So, yeah, it's it's uh yeah all you can say is thank you i mean it's it it's awesome i'm gonna miss it so much yeah 
and for me it's just uh same thing pretty much just to just to show my gratitude to, to everybody um within the Jens family like I mean Brian and Progen for for taking a chance on me last year and um and yeah just I mean giving me everything that I got there is uh second to none so I'm I'm very grateful for it all and uh and wouldn't want it any other way yeah and uh yeah just can't say enough can't thank Brian and Progen all the guys enough for um for the past two years and uh, Jen's fan base for all the support. Um, uh, yeah, honestly, just um, can't say thank you enough. Um, and I'm wishing so much success in the future and uh, definitely will be uh, keeping in touch with all these guys and uh, um, following uh, the Jens as they go on these next uh million years so go Jens. <laughs> yeah to, to a million more i think that's a, a good way to uh end it yeah. guys uh thank you so much uh awesome job thank you for everything this season you know hopping on zoom calls phone calls late on the bus when you're in the back after getting a serious finale win or you know just everything you guys have done to uh you know help contribute to the uh gents family it's awesome it's a pleasure to uh get to know you guys and yeah thank you so much and uh best of luck whatever the future holds thanks matt thanks, thanks, matt. matt. Thank you. thanks matt appreciate thanks, you sir. as well all the coverage is great <laughs>